Hey you all, I'm sorry my video cut off. I can only tape so much before my phone actually shuts off. Um, so anyways, we were talking about the ascension of Elijah. We were talking about Jesus and how on the Mount Transfiguration you had Elijah and you also had Moses. And I just thought that that was powerful and I can't wait to really just sit and digest that because that's something I had not thought of before the Holy Spirit brought it to my attention. Um, but there's just a couple more things that I'm going to talk about. So hopefully this will be very quick. Um, you see that one of the first miracles that Elijah does is he goes to Jericho to heal the waters. The waters were apparently diseased or there was something that was causing them to, the waters to be bad. So what he does is he uses salt to heal the water. And I thought that that was so powerful in itself because God has called us to be the salt, called us to be the light. And we know that when salt enters the equation, it changes things. And so I just thought that that was a powerful reminder for us to continue to let the Lord to set us apart. And I know that that is not always easy because it means that often you'll have to be the oddball, but you're being the oddball for the Lord. So, you know, take it for what it is. It's a wonderful thing. Um, so we see that's one of his first miracles. So again, we could spend a lot of time talking about just that, but I want to go on. Um, you see that as Elijah's coming back from performing these miracles, you know, the ascension of Elijah, so much has happened. And he encounters these mockers, the Bible says, and they were children, you all. And they were calling him Baldy. They were saying, go up, go up. And I think they were making fun of what the miracles that had just taken place, you know, because I'm sure it was a big to do in the town, right? Something like that happens, everybody's going to know. And so they're mocking him. And Elijah does not take lightly to the things to this because, you know, there is a such thing as righteous anger, a Holy Ghost anger, I say, you know, and, um, these children mock the wrong thing. <laughs> First of all, they mocked an anointed man of God and they were not speaking agreeable, I should say, to what had just taken place. And so the Bible says that a bear came out of no one where, and I'm sorry, and tore those children apart. And I think the lesson in that is do not put your mouth on a man or woman of God. If you don't understand the miracles that they're walking in, if you don't understand the signs and wonders, it is best you close your mouth than to speak against what the Holy Spirit is doing. People don't realize that is blasphemy. The Bible says people are so quick to speak about what they don't understand. And it's ignorant to do that. If you are unsure about something that you see, it is better to take it to God, say, I don't understand but don't grieve the spirit by speaking against something just because you don't have the insight or the aptitude to understand what's happening in that spiritual capacity. Because let me tell you, there are some supernatural things that happen in the spiritual realm. You don't want to speak against something just because you don't have, you can't, you don't get it. And so that's another lesson. Do not speak against a man or woman of God that is anointed. You don't know who's anointed by God. And when you go around mocking the things of God, talking poorly about um, putting your mouth on a man or woman of God, that is very, very dangerous. You block your blessings and you could cause yourself a lot of undue pain. So be very careful of that. All right, that is all that I have to, to talk about today. Um, I urge you, go back, look at 2 Kings chapter 2. It is so fascinating. The Bible is so full of life. I hope I inspire you to go deeper into the Word of God because for me, it's just, there's so much to learn. It's so fascinating. It's interesting. And uh, there's so much for us to learn to apply on this journey while we're here. So you all be blessed. Take care. I love you. Thank you for listening once again. I thank you for, uh, you know, walking through the scriptures with me and allowing me to share what the Lord has placed on my heart. And uh, I look forward to this every day. I really do. I look forward to sharing the word of God. So you all take care and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.